very quiet street. That's because it's just 4.45 a.m. I'm catching a 6 a.m. flight. Hopefully I make it. Sky Chain will be half an hour. I'll get there about 5.30. And then the flight leaves 6 a.m. I think we can do it. So it's 5.30, thank goodness for Nexus, because there was such a line at the security at 5.30 a.m. But with my Nexus, even though I'm not crossing the border, I still get to go through a special line where there is absolutely no one. And uh, I think my plane's boarding right now. Just over four hours. I got 20 minutes of sleep. I didn't get much work done. I really got nothing accomplished on that play. My computer died. Well, now I gotta find mom and dad. No idea where they are. There she is. Hi, Hi Mom. Are you tired? A little bit. Oh. You don't want to drive home. Yeah, I can drive home. Can you drive home? What, you don't want to drive home? I'll drive. No, no, I can drive home. I'll drive. Ugh. Sure, you're not too tired. You haven't been drinking or anything, eh? No, I haven't been drinking. And you're not too tired. Too early for that. Yes, I know. Right. Going for a walk to get a coffee. So just out for an afternoon walk, Starbucks, on the old radio path with Mom and Sarah. St. Andrew's Church, St. Andrew's Graveyard here. Used to come here a long time ago, play hide and go seek amongst the tombstones. It was really eerie at night. Beautiful graveyard. Cemetery? Cemetery. First time we'll just sit in a little rowette. Perfect! Look at this. Yeah, too bad the uh, parking lot ruins it. This 
lovely town of Ancaster, Ontario, located on the Niagara Escarpment, um, was officially founded in 1793 and was one of the oldest European communities in present-day Ontario. And by 1823, because of the accessibility of water, it became actually the largest industrial and commercial center in Upper Canada. And at that time, around 1823, Ancaster actually had the second largest populace in Upper Canada, trailing only Kingston, who had 2,500. Ancaster had about 1,600 people, and they're actually ahead of Toronto, who had about 1,300, and Hamilton, who was just less than 1,000. So Ancaster, at one point in time, was the hub of Upper Canada. But Mary put on wood sign that looked a lot better. Than well, just finished watching the Jays game with my dad. They lost, but hey, they can't win them all. It's nice to be home. I'm exhausted. So I found an alternate.